Mersh! Mersh, what? Mersh, what the fuck is going on around here? <laughs> ah, 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 Jesus Christ, man, don't, don't, don't uh, scare me like that. Ah, Jesus, ah, Jesus Christ. Ah, um, um, well, well, uh, Royce, uh, things are bad. Th things are really bad, and, and we're getting, we're getting a security system. Uh, I'm getting, I'm getting cameras in every room. Uh, and, and, and I'm locking it down. We're, we're on full lockdown. We're, we're on top alert. Jesus Christ, Marge, have you lost your fucking mind? Maria's gonna kill me. I mean, what is this? Why, why are you doing this? Why, why is there construction in our apartment? Uh, 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 well, well, you know, you know, shit has really hit the wall. Uh, you know, how, you know, how I've been punching down and, and harassing all these people and making fun of them. And doxing people with their Patreon information, and then not giving them refunds. Uh, well, well, the chickens have come home to roost. It, it's caught up with me, and, and they're after me, man. They're fucking after me. They're they're doxing me. There, there's a Reddit, an R slash Mersh, and, and fucking man, they're, they're showing pictures of my girlfriend. Uh, my my address. I'm pretty sure that's out there. And th there's this guy, John Walsh. John fucking Walsh. This guy's a psycho, man. He's a, he's a fucking psycho. He's like sending me his toenails in the mail and, and saying all kinds of spooky shit to me, man. I, I'm all freaked out. But don't worry about Maria, all right? Don't don't worry. Like uh, I got it all on the cheap, man. I got I got the cameras from China, and then, and then I had Maria go get get some uh, spics from the Home Depot, and, and they're doing all this shit for like a case of Corona, man. Si, sí, me gusta cabezas, way. Si. Sí. Mersh, I am really fucking uncomfortable with this. Owen, uh, can, can you talk some sense into a man? Like, what, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah, no, he's he's right to be scared. I'd be scared of that John Walsh guy, too. Plus, like, Hallow's Eve is coming, man. It's coming. And, uh, yeah, you, you should definitely be freaked out, because, uh, shit's probably going to hit the fan. Oh, come on, man. I mean, Owen, you're not even in here. Why, why are you in a construction hit, man? You're, you're just like enabling these paranoid delusions, man. Nobody's coming for us. <laughs> yeah, paranoid delusions. No, they're they're coming, man. They're fucking coming from me. Every every night when I when I lay down next to that llama to go to sleep, there's, I keep hearing like a banging floor, like like some kind of like telltale heart or something. Like they're they're coming, man. They're fucking they're coming. It's totally true and such. Like so we can't even get snow intimacies and such cause this beats the banging on the floor all night. Oh come on, you guys are just being paranoid. It's, it's, we're in an apartment, there's probably someone below us. I mean, you can't jackhammer through the floor in a goddamn apartment, Mersh. <laughs> we're, we're not going through the floor, stupid. I, I, I'm tearing it up so we can we can reinforce it. Uh, we're, we're putting some concrete in there. A ain't shit coming through that floor now. <laughs> Senior Mersh. Senior Mersh. You're, you're out of Caviso way. <laughs> Alright, well, well I'm, I'm tapped out. So, uh, you know, I, how about you guys just wrap it up then? Because you know, I, I don't have enough money to get get some more. Hey, rip it up, way. You're out of Cavesas. Yeah. Underlay, underlay, out! Woo! Yeah, yeah! Hey, wait, wait, no, no, come back here. You, you guys are done. Ah, uh, god damn it. Now I gotta finish it myself. Like, you have all these spurs, like, on your side, trying to, like, alienate an audience. Because what if I like ROTC and I like your show? And then they're like, well, fuck her, she likes ROTC. And then they, like, try to, like, spam my fucking email. That's not looking good for you. Who's spamming your it's email? It's gay fuck. But Someone the thing is, spam my email. I have, I have the best position in this because I just host a show. I don't have a group North where Hill, we're, where we're sitting Hill behind the scenes. I that he did spam my email. But there's a lot of shows that have groups that centralize around fine. doing that. I have no, I'm saying I have like, no affiliation with what anybody. Another man is doing? Just do you. I have no affiliation with, with most of the viewers. Most of the viewers are anonymous fucking trolls, it but seems that's like. That's fine, but like, and it's the your, best guest ever. Host, your guest host that like offended David, the Chicago guy, like he was a complete dick to him, and then David went on a spiral 
because he lost his dog, which you guys are super insensitive about. So, like, just be fucking mad. Who like, was give the fuck about, your fucking... about his dog dying, by the way? We are very okay, fucking... Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You don't in have the, to. In but, his like... bereavement of the dog that night, we didn't make one joke. Okay, well, your viewers were going off on it. In the chat, I can't control. Do you think I can sit here and tell the chat no, what to you do? No, you can't. But like, you could say, like, "Hey, guys, that's not cool." Like, he lost his dog. And and As a the man, only like, like that. the only stink of a joke during that whole thing was when somebody called and barked like a dog into the phone. That was the only. Yeah, that was so horrible. Can I, I lost control the dog that? myself, and I felt horrible for him. Can I control that though? No, you can't, but you can be a man and say, hey, guys, that's not cool. Be a man. You control your own cho- You control your own channel, is what I'm trying to say. I control. Like, you're an I adult. Can, I control and, like, as much as I, I guys, feel. The fact like, is, is on, like, ROTC and, like, and these look, other dudes who give the fuck about their channel. channel. If you don't like them, then don't fucking speak on them. I've been as doing a man, this don't YouTube speak on thing them. for years, and I haven't gotten in trouble only once. Okay. But well, I told the line. You speak on ROTC. You speak on Mersh. You guys have like this Philip Wave radio. I'm not the affiliated with any Philip Wave or Ian Ellis LLCs or any of those guys. Now, let me tell you something. Oh, he's taking his I shirt off. I am not going to do it. He's I'm not going to put up off. with it, and it's not happening. I'm going to turn this into a wrestling promo. <laughs> you and me, Richard Spencer, right here, Austin, Texas, Paul Joseph Watson, <laughs> special guest referee. We're going at it, brother. Sorry. <clears throat> hey, guys, it's me, Ross Dog. As always, subscribe to the Ross Dog Network at Philip Radio for uh, Periscope and Twitter. Um, coming up on the end of this, uh, Ian Ellis, comedian Ian Ellis, he, he just released a mixtape. He's got 10 of them, 10 unique hours of comedy. And uh, we're, we're going to give you a little preview here. And then if you like it, you can head over to his podcast, ianellis.podbean.com, or just search like Ian Ellis on iTunes or, or wherever you search. Uh, with apologies, back in a month or so. Uh, shout out to everybody. And uh, guys, stay tuned. More to come. Uh, it's a little bit late this week. We're probably not going to do another one, but... We're, we're gearing up for the Halloween special. All right? Get excited, guys. Yeah, dig. Next time, he's got an awesome podcast. Check it out. If you like podcasts, it's the Ian Ellis Podcast. Because his name is Ian Ellis, everyone. You guys like stories about Jews being killed? Yes! Yes! Yeah. Yeah. You know, Tommy told me that joke before he came up here tonight. And I was like, you should probably add some punchlines. He's like, nope, just wanted to press people. <laughs> They're like, they need to know about Brazil and the Jews. And... <laughs> Feel bad about yourself. <laughs> Guys, I'm super chill because I'm on vacation. <laughs> Bitches. I'm on paid vacation. What? Yeah. You got a job. Hold that shit down. I know some of you guys are jealous. A bunch of Uber drivers. Don't even have health care. Uh, you're making it your way. Living your best life. I have seven days a year where I get paid to just be a regular person. And I live at the poverty line. It takes a lot of work to stay here. Sometimes I'm jealous of homeless people. They don't have as much as me, but they also don't have to deal with corporate. <laughs> I'm just stand on a corner and ask for change. Every day is their day off. They don't have to deal with chicken at all. But I do to stay at the poverty line. And Uber drivers are jealous. <laughs> it's more of a staycation. You know, I'm just sticking around. It's my opportunity to catch up on shit I don't normally have time to do. I work too much. I 
closed the bank account for my dead dad. You guys do that? Your dad's dead? He's still alive? Get excited, he's gonna die. <laughs> and one day you're gonna have to be an adult and close his bank account. It's very easy, I'll prepare you. You just need a state ID and a passport and a DNA test and a couple of the teller's kids held at gunpoint. <laughs> you just do that, you can close the account. Otherwise, they're scared of identity theft. They're terrified of it, and they don't want any accounts closed. You guys know about Greta Thornberry? <laughs> Wild Thornberry, she's in Sweden. Nine, she has autism. <laughs> You know about the nine-year-old retarded girl that is speaking to leaders of nations, <laughs> the leaders of people. I love her. I feel for her. She's out there. She's crying. She's like, why can't you figure it out? Bad. <laughs> Polar bears. Fake Dolly. Stop it. <laughs> Get it, man. I feel the same way. <laughs> All kinds of shit, man. Yeah, I feel that way about racism. I'm like, come on! I want to use the N word. <laughs> make all kinds of crazy racist jokes about Jews and Asians, and gay people. But you guys are bigots. Stop it! Get over it, so I can call them N's and K's and F's. <laughs> All kinds of <laughs> hard R's <laughs> syllables. <laughs> non racistly. Come on! Polar bears! When you see Fern Gully, we're fucked! The earth is fucked! Just let me use those words. It's about black people. <laughs> Greta Thornberry. Um, I feel that way about feminism. It's like, yeah, I love women, but bitches be you know, shopping and stuff like that. Do you, how many of you have wives? Just me? Couple of us. So, you know, I say stuff to my wife I would never say to a woman. <laughs> I would never say this shit, but my wife, this bitch. <laughs> you ever look at a woman and go? <laughs> I said that to my wife. Came home late, working hard like a man. Bringing home the bacon, the bacon sizzling. Give that bitch 51% of my income. Listen to it sizzle. Bacon. Keeps a roof over our head. Come outside, she's sitting there. No makeup. Hair's all frizzy because of the environment and shit. She's wearing goodwill clothes, looking a mess. Had a cigarette in her mouth and she looked up at me looking like all the white trash I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Get it together. <laughs> Never say that to a woman. <laughs> My wife got 39 days to turn it around. Whoa. She's going to be single, guys. <laughs> I'm joking. I have kids, so I'm <laughs> fucked. <laughs> I haven't had a blowjob in a year. I'm going nowhere. <laughs> she owns me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got a kid the other day, I'm in the bathroom peeing, dicks out. Urine, urine, tinkle, tinkle. And my kid comes by, I go, oh, I love you. He goes, liar, and ran off. <laughs> I just chased him with my dick out. You know I love you. <laughs> Don't make me prove it. <laughs> Kids are great, it's the best. Worst thing that'll ever happen to you. <laughs> Speaking of kids, I, I don't like pedophiles. I am anti pedophile. If you are pro pedophile, I'd like to take a moment to dissuade you. 
<laughs> First of all, they fuck kids. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty! Mm, kids? Ugh. <laughs> Second of all, what makes you so special that you get to get what you want out of life? <laughs> you think my wife is my sexual fantasy? I don't want to fuck for the rest of my life. You think I don't want to kidnap 23 year olds, chain them up in the basement, co eds? <laughs> but you deserve a six year old. <laughs> It's not fair, it's not how the game is played. <laughs> Third of all, this is the reason I most hate pedophiles. They ruin child pornography. They ruined it! My son is a year and a half old. He has a giant, tiny penis. <laughs> Bigger than mine, it's tiny. <laughs> Funniest thing I've ever seen. All right? I want to take pictures of it. You got pictures of your kid at like Easter, I want a picture of my kid's dick. <laughs> How proud of that big dick little monster I am. I want to make it my Facebook profile. <laughs> What? I'm gonna send it to each and every one of my friends. Look at this giant, tiny dick. Giant hog. I'm a baby. I can't do that because people fuck kids. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you, pedophile. Jared.